Hello everyone and welcome. Today we are going to talk about the filtration of ECG signal. You are uh, processing the ECG signal. You may need uh, to do some kind of filtration uh, so that you could get uh, the ECG signal refined. So this is a raw ECG signal and uh, I am using a PhysioNet uh, data set and i had downloaded this file uh, with 100 dot that this is a sampled and what is uh, happening here i am just loading this file and with the f open function in matlab and after that i am just reading this with the integer 16 that i set and after that i close the file that's how you will load our data from a local file uh, which is available on the free open source data set of ecg recorded so these data sets are recorded on the patients with a different kind of disease heart disease and uh, i used one file from that data set of one patient and I process on that so the sampling rate is 360 and what I'm doing is making a time vector with the zero and the length the ECG signal minus one and divided by FS because you know that time is one over frequency so the or, our frequency is 360 so time would be uh, the length of uh, total duration divided by the sampling frequency after that we can simply uh, plotting a five seconds of the waveform so that we don't get a raw bunch of waves like this so if we are not plotting the data uh, zoomed in we are just getting this bunch of lines which we are not able to interpret easily so we just selected the five seconds data and we named it a raw ecg signal so this is the five seconds data of the raw ecg signals uh, but here you can see uh, that it, once we filtered and normalized the data, it will look like this. So coming back to the code, what we do next is we apply a band pass filter. So what the pan, band pass filter do, it basically removes the noise in our ECG signals. So the lower frequency which we need to bypass is 5 hertz and the maximum we require is 15 hertz. So that's the basic range of the ECG signals. We apply a Butterworth filter on that. So we, uh, we need to find out the coefficients of BNA using a built-in MATLAB function which is a Butter Butterworth filter what we are doing here is we apply a coefficients and the low and high frequencies divided by the fs divided by two and you say we need a band pass filter what does a bad filter returns it, it returns a b and a coefficients which you can use into your filtration function in our case the filtration function is felt felt which we apply a b and a and ecg signals there are a bunch of other ways to apply the similar functions in the bat lab you can use whatever you like but we are using these two lines here once we have done that we have a filtered ecg signal what we can do next is we can uh, detect the r peaks we can simply use a find peaks function here is a find peak function we uh, input the filtered signals and minimum peak height with 200 it returns the r logs variable if we 
find the length of the our locks and we will get the number of beads we can simply print out the number of beads we have in our file so in our case it's something 17 thousands of beads when we scroll down we see here that we are uh, simply windowing a five seconds of data from the filtered signal and we are plotting a filtered signals so if you see the output it will look like this after that we need to normalize the data what the normalizations do here if you notice closely uh, the amplitude is not normalized so this is a uh, some ambiguous numbers here so if you normalize the amplitude it would look like this so here you will see that the all the plotting is between the minus one to one so how we can achieve this normalization here is a function to normalize the data the normalization of the amplitude of the filtered ECG signals ranging from minus 1 to 1, we can simply input the filtered signal minus the minimum value into, from, in that filtered signals divided by the maximum value from the filtered signals minus minimum value of the filtered signals multiplied by 2 and minus 1. That's a basic formula for normalization, which we applied to get a range of signals normalized in minus one to one. And we can take a five seconds. We repeated this five seconds uh, code here, which we uh, don't need. You can apply global variable with this and you can reuse uh, here throughout. So that's will plot a normalized signal and you will see a normalized signal like this. So now the data is minus one to one. If you want to simulate your own ECG, you can use some kind of functions like this. So you can apply a sine wave and you can just simply plot the functions. I'm not going a deeper into uh, these codes. I will just put that code into my website and put a link in the description so you can check that out. Check that out. If you have any question, you can reach me out in the comments as well. So that's all for today's tutorial. See you in the next one.